Lost today at a Detroit tiny home as bailiffs tried to evict a woman who refused to leave. The saga between Tara Brown and Cass Community Social Services has been playing out for months, and today the situation finally came to a head. Victor Williams was there as things turned violent. Victor. Yeah, Kimberly, talk about an intense situation. You had dozens of protesters that were refusing to let this woman be evicted, but at the same time, you had court officers refusing to let her stay. You're going in, you're in the way. Things turned chaotic between protesters and court officers during an eviction on Detroit's west side, with a few dozen officers from DPD watching on. The bailiffs, uh, actually, they've been roughing up people who've been defending Tara's house. Tara Brown is the one being put out of her tiny home through a court-ordered eviction. She claims it's all because she spoke out against her landlord, Reverend Fowler, with Cass Community Social Services, better known as CCSS. This is what a home defense looks like, and this is what landlords can expect when they go to retaliate against tenants and throw them out. This is a lie. She told people that she was giving us tiny houses. Protesters from multiple organizations, including Detroit Eviction Defense, have taken it on themselves to make sure Tara stays in her home. And although all of her belongings were taken out, some protesters are refusing to accept that even now. We need to keep people in their homes right now. There are no, there is no housing available for people in Detroit. Feeling confident about fighting back and we're not done. We're just getting started. Now, in response, Reverend Fowler sent us the following statement, which reads, CCSS tried to exercise extreme care to avoid the emotional event that took place at the tiny homes this morning. We never condoned violence and planned with the courts, law enforcement, and additional parties to make sure people, Miss Brown, the protesters, the bailiffs, police, neighbors, staff, and onlookers would not be injured or arrested. Conversely, Miss Brown and the outside group have been announcing for weeks that she would not vacate the home and that they plan to use any means necessary to avoid the court ordered eviction. And that's exactly what we're seeing playing out with many of these protesters right back here in front of the home. Victor Williams, Local 4. All right, Victor.